So I have a turkey that's in love with my feet. I thought it was my chicken boots. I was wrong. It's my feet. He was just chasing me. I can't make this up. Moving on. Uh, so we are here down in our pasture right now. Uh, this is where we've got everything. It's a mess and it's not organized uh, as, as well as I'd like it to be. And the reason for that is because temporary location. Um, we are actually going to be building further down uh, that way which is where our spring is. It's our constant running spring that flows. And uh, in the winter time, our pipes freeze here, it does snow. So the goal is to put each individual, individual enclosure in front of the stream and they'll have full access to their own water source. And we're not having to do the buckets back and forth because that's not very fun in the freezing cold weather. Check out this lion right here. She's freaking awesome. Let's see if I can get her. This is our Anatolian now. She's perched up there. Looking over everything. Like the perfect beast she is. Sleepy beast because she stays up all night barking. But that's what we want her to do because it keeps all of the keeps all of the bad animals away. Um, okay, cool. So let me just kind of show you what I'm doing right now. It is about uh, 430 typically around four o'clock to five o'clock every day. I come down here and do a switcheroo of the birds I call it and what that is is because everything is so congested right now. Uh, we haven't finished building our other enclosures yet. This is what I'm working with. Uh, I've got everything all together here. So right now I have all of just the females out aside from the, um, the I, that's a rooster, that little chick right there. Um, he doesn't count and neither does the peacocks because there's no mixing of breeding. So besides those, I have only the females out, only the hens. I don't know what, I don't know what this little guy is yet though. Yeah, you're ridiculous. That's my goose. Currently just the one. Oh, it's the other one. It died. It happens. So living on a farm is, um, or a homestead, or a little hobby for anything with animals. You're, you're going to be losing a lot of them, especially the younger ones. That's why you pay more for the older ones. The younger ones are always just a couple dollars because chances are we're probably gonna die. So it's really... Did you, have you been stuck in here all day? You don't know how to jump out? Oh my gosh. Look at this. So I'm just now slowly starting to introduce these little guys uh, to the bigger chickens. And I do that in small doses throughout the day. Uh, and that is... <laughs> And that is because, um, you know, chickens are assholes. Pardon my French. All right, ladies. Hi. So, I'm fun getting my feet in here. Excuse my toe. Uh, on Easter, Easter day, actually, I, um, I was shopping at the store and I knocked it into a pallet and it, Anyways, I lost, I lost my, my big, it's gross. Coming back, everything's, oh my god, going well, it's going well. Growth is happening, it's just, oh my god, as a woman, I think these chickens want me to kill them. Alright, so I trick everybody with food, sorry, boo. I trick everybody.
Mr. Ram a phantom hen. She's a full grown creature. Is this not precious? Is she not just so precious? Look at her little sweet face. Oh, I'll show you her boyfriends in a minute. Oh, they were both doing it. It was really bad. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to step on one of them. I don't want to step on one of them. Oh. Okay. I do want to cover a lot of what I had searched for in the past and couldn't quite find. So, um, I'm going to leave the bigger hens out because I have a duck that is breeding on some eggs and I have one male that likes, he's my, so my golden hen, her, his, her name is Brittany Spears and this is her boyfriend. He is, stay. he's an AM Samani. Is he not perfect? Look at this. He's got a little bit of leakage, so he's not as valuable as some of the other ones you see. But he's still my main breeder with Britney Spears, and their offspring are phenomenal. They have different color eyes. Um, I mean, they're really something special. So, this guy, I absolutely love. He is so beautiful. Hi. Look at this comb. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at this tail. So, I put them in cages that are big enough for them to move around in so it doesn't mess up their feathers. Because to me, it's very important that they have very, very beautiful tail feathers. <laughs> But anyways, as I was saying earlier, this guy likes to hump my goo or my duck that's laying on eggs. So if I leave some of the big hens out, then maybe he's more tempted with them than my duck. Okay, so here's my other little Cerama Bantam rooster. He's just in oh, get back here. This is R2. He's one of the boy friends. He is a Cerama Bantam Roo. He is one of the world's smallest roosters. His breed. His dad was actually rescued from cockfighting in Malaysia. So the breeder I got him from is really passionate about her birds, to say the least. She's a... Uh, She's cool. Ooh. But I've had him quite a while now. And his her 
her other boyfriend is one of my personal favorites. His name is Shorzy. And that is from, that is a letter Kenny name. Um. Guys, is this not absolute perfection right here? Look at him. Wait, I'm not done loving you. And then I've got my goose. But anyways, so I just, I, I put all the males out. I bring all the males out. I put all the females away. And I do that about half day. So I do this uh, two times a day. But I, I get up in the morning. I'll let everybody out. I do the feedings. I do the rest of the feedings for all the rest of our animals that we have here. And then, um, and then midday, I come through and do a second feeding, switcheroo, and then at night, we put everything away and lock everything up, you know, and then how I lock up is I have, um, we've got locks on the coops, and then I've got, um, a radio that plays as well, so it's both the human and animal deterrent, uh, it is really hot. Oh my gosh. Come on, Francis. Move your Mr. Butt. I hold power. Oh, so there's Sushi's girlfriend right there, the little Japanese phantom. So all the girls are now locked up. All the boys are out. I left, like I said, I left some of the girls out just. Okay, enough of this. Whew. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. The boys are definitely more wild than the females, which I find to be hilarious because it is quite a noticeable difference in oh my honestly oh and then that's all i'm going to show you today because it's a long video and i don't even know if anybody cares so <laughs> thanks for watching have a good day